Hi, I'm Diana. We're here in Northumberland today to go see the puffins over in the island, Farn Island. Now, puffins are called the clowns of the sea. And when you get a whole gathering of the puffins, they're called a circus. So let's go check out that puffin circus. This tour takes approximately 2.5 to 3 hours with a sail around all the islands first, then a one-hour visit on Inner Farm. The Farn Islands host around 23 species of seabird and is open during the months of April to September. They actually consist of 28 islands with varying visibility depending on the tide. This allowed us a unique view of the birds' nesting habits high upon the cliffs. The volcanic dolerite rock gives the Farne Islands their distinctive blackened appearance. The Longstone Lighthouse is the original 19th century beacon to aid shipping. And it was completed in 1826 at the cost of £4,771. Throughout the year, hundreds of grey seals can be seen basking on the rocks. In autumn, the numbers increase to thousands as a colony of grey seals come to the island to breed. October is a great photo opportunity for tourists to capture images of the grey seals and their pups. Just so close. The seal numbers swell from between 6,000 to over 8,000. So these are all female size as well. So there's some of the little small ones there. So these are last year's pups. They're about six to seven months old now. The two or three little bigger ones there. They're about three years old or four years old. So these are the females. They're very heavily pregnant now. Onward to Inner Farn, where we are hoping to see puffins just like the ones in the brochures. It's one of the few places in the UK where you can actually get up close to many exotic birds. Okay, we've been out on the boat for quite some time now. We've seen all kinds of birds nesting, the puffins, the terns, the shags. Um, beautiful birds, the little guinea moths flying around crazy, puffins flying so fast past us and now we're going to land and check out the puffins. For the numerous twitchers and photographers, it's a delight to experience. The island is open in the afternoons only and there's a time limit of 60 minutes to explore. My first impression was the cacophony from the thousands of chirping birds and secondly the hundreds of enthusiastic camera clicks. Guarding her nest is an arctic tern, ready to pounce if you get too close. Arctic terns hold the record for the longest migration of any animal in the world, annually making the journey from the Arctic Circle to the Antarctic Circle. The Farne Islands are an incredibly important wildlife reserve. It's home to many species of bird, including Ida, Razorbill, Guillemot, Shag, Kittiwak, Fulmar, and of course everyone's favorite, the Puffin. There'll be one, thank you. There are basically two paths to explore the island which form into a circular route. 
<laughs> Woo! <laughs> we are heading up to the inner Farn lighthouse, which is the perfect place to see the majority of the birds nesting on the cliffs. Why put your egg right next yeah. to it? <laughs> Atlantic puffins are very small and fast, flying up to 50 miles an hour with 400 wing beats per minute. They make their burrows in earth or between rocks on steep sea cliffs as protection from predators. And they use their bills to cut into the earth and then shovel away loose soil with their feet. Here's a baby puffin chick. It's called a puffling, believe it or not. The Farne Islands are home to possibly the most diverse and exciting seabird colonies in England. The peak breeding season is from May to July. Puffins dive to catch sand eels for the young and enjoy showing off their takeaway meal. There are almost 50,000 nesting pairs of puffins on the islands which mate for life. They spend eight months of the year in the open sea, and that's when they shed their brightly colored mating beak in favor of a dull gray winter bill. This is the shag, a close relative of the larger cormorant their chicks are almost reptilian looking when first hatched. Here's the common gull posing for their moment of fame. The male and female razorbill are identical in plumage. However, males are generally larger than females. Among these seagulls is Britain's nearest thing to a penguin, the guillemot. During the spring breeding season, over a hundred thousand pairs of birds make the various islands their temporary home. All too quickly our time is up and we make the perilous journey past all the giant camera lenses and nesting arctic terns. So the reason I'm wearing the hat is because we have these little birds here the terns, they are laying their eggs in nests along here and they will bomb the top of your head if you get too close to them. Like that. <laughs> like that. Alternatively, holding a camera monopod in the air seems to help. <laughs> And so it's time to say a fond farewell to Inner Farm and reflect upon the beauty of nature. I will be back.
Well, we had a wonderful time over in the Farne Islands. We saw the circus of puffins, the shags, the arctic terns, laying their eggs right along the path as well. Absolutely fantastic. But do remember when you go to wear your hat. Those arctic terns, they will get you.